Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this amazing video. I am Aditya. In this video, we will see how to use Firebase with Nuxt 3. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so first thing we need to do is create a project in Firebase. So once you go to Firebase console, and if you log in with your Gmail account, and you can just go to a create project. I'm gonna, just, just going to name it test, like simple test project. And then for now, I don't need any Google Analytics. But if you need Google Analytics for your app, then it's handy. So I'll just say not, like disable for now, go forward, and it will create the project. Till it's creating the project, behind the scene, I have some basic uh, UI for our Nux 3 app. So it's the same app where we uh we're integrating the tailwind 3 with nux 3 so if you haven't checked that video please do check that video as well it's a pretty cool video where we were integrating tailwind 3 with nux 3 so here i'll tell you uh just in a glimpse like what exactly happening in this app so i'm just following the atomic design structure so here you'll see like i have components there i have base form in that base form i have form group and form group is kind of like a molecule which is having two atoms over here input and label so what i'm going to do what i have done here is it's simply like with for the input i have given the type so it can be text email password like input type then the typical v model to use on component so you generally have a model value as a props and then you listen for the add rate input event and whenever it's uh, updated or whenever there is an input you emit the event of update mod mod model value with that e dot target value so it's, it's it's a simple callback function over here and once it's updated our model value model value also gets up updated and that reflects with our v model vol uh, value so if i go to base form over here you'll see there we have a v model name so it gets updated over there something with the model value being updated because this prop uh, of v model will be nothing but the model value so that's one then we have the base title now i have purposely call it base title you'll come to know why i have called it base title so it's just the title and then we have the button then we have the form group again so it's actually the form group only that we just saw before and we have a simple menu and which has two Nuxt links, which is login and register. We have the main app.view where we are rendering the Nuxt page. And then we have the pages. Plus we have a guest layout where we have the header and the slot just to render the layout, uh, like the children of that layout. And then we have this login page. Now, Nuxt3 has this amazing SEO or meta tags handling stuffs, which where you don't have to worry about the writing use meta tags or use meta and all those stuffs. What you could do is simply use those HTML, uh, like just need an HTML element. Just make sure that it is in capital letters. Then you have the head component. So first you have the HTML component, then you have the head component and inside head component, you have those all the meta tags and all those tags which are required in the head tag. Just make sure whatever tag you use, it's start it's always capitalized so here as we have the title tag that's why we are writing here base title okay same for the register we have your register and simple uh seo stuffs then in both register and login we are just having the base title where we have our title for the page then our base form and our base form which is nothing but this is just gonna throw back the values to the parent component which is the pages index or register based on whether the form is for login or for register so if it's for login it will show uh, email and password only or it will emit email and password if it's for register it will emit name email password and of course it will run some validations before emitting so the validations are pretty simple and straightforward i will recommend to use a library like we validate with the app if you are using if your form is having like complex fields or a number of fields so, but as we have like simple fields like name email and password i just did it in like manual validation so once these validations are great all cool and if there are no errors we just proceed forward with emitting the event now that's all what we have for this and i have purposely preferred the typescript approach so you'll see like uh, this and also the setup script and typescript actually so you'll see like this um, define emits and define props are like pure typescripted things so uh, this is all currently what we have now let's go back to our firebase project and here i think it should be there now okay so we just hit continue then we just need to create an app so what we need to do is uh okay we can just create from here straight away 
and I'm gonna name it like test app then register app and then it should provide us some keys that we need to use so also we need to install the library of Firebase so let's also install that so let me stop the server quickly and do npm install Firebase okay till it's installed we will just see what we have over here so we just need to import initialize app from Firebase and just we need this configs <laughs> please do not copy this configs because I'm gonna delete this project after the video so what we need to do is just copy this snippet and just paste it in our app.view because that's our main component so let's go to app.view and let's put it over here in the setup script and let's put it here so we can remove this comment for now and what we need to do is now we just need to make sure that because we just need to initialize the app first and then we can use other things uh, after this so once the app is initialized we will go to index.view and here we will write our login logic so in the firebase documentation you will see the snippet for login for register for log out all those snippets we will just focus on two which is login and register to just to have like a simple proof of concept that how to use firebase with nux3 so let's go and uh, quickly use this login code so we just need to import get auth and sign in with email and password from firebase auth so let's get that let's go over here and let's put it on our you can you will also see like i have two script tags so when you use setup script you can use two script tags one can be your ex uh, like the traditional script <laughs> i'm not sure what to call it but it's mostly like though even though it's composition api but you can use it like a traditional way where you are exporting something while in setup script you don't have to do those exports so it removes like it makes it very uh slick so as we cannot use this key value pair in our setup script so I, that's why we need to use it like a separate script tag so let's go back over here get the get pot and sign in with email and password now here we just need to go and copy this snippet again so this will come over here and now this do login will bring some payload so let's get the payload and let's give a return type of this avoid because this function is not going to return anything and what we need to do is so this email will come from payload.email and this password will come from payload.password okay i can also uh, make this as a typed thing so here if i want to make this payload as a typed thing so here i just need to do something like this so this will be a record of string and string okay so this becomes typed now next thing we need to do is uh, so this will log in our user if everything is great so we'll just console the user and also we can do the same thing for register so let's go to register and let's write the logic of register so here we have the code for register so let's just copy the first line let's put it over here then we need to do the same thing that we did for login because for register we will be getting the uh, the details of the user as well so we can just uh, simply get like it, it's because the form is emitting the same thing it's emitting the payload so we can do over here something like this payload and then have it type so it will be a record of string and string and this function again won't be returning anything so void and this would be like payload dot email and payload dot password now this will create user with email and password so we can just uh, write here uh, on you console dot log user now the thing here is uh, as you see we are only selecting with email and password as we also have for register the name field so in that case what we need to do is once this registration is successful we can either uh, like have a separate table where we have the display name and all those stuff actually user also user table also has those so you can also modify it over here in this then but for now we will just display the user 
just with like login it registering with email and password so let's see how it works so let's run it npm run dev and as it is it will shouldn't be that long yeah it's there now let's just quickly refresh so we have the login here let's open the dev tools let's put it on laptop mode and let's see what happened so here i'm gonna say let's okay let's first register because we don't have a user. okay so here is our registration details let it register and we are having a problem it says uh sign up key okay the main problem is we didn't allow the authentication so let's quickly allow the authentication from here so we will go to authentication then uh, get started and here we want email password authentication so we will just enable that save and let's try it again so let's remove this from here register and there it is we have the user successfully registered now let's try to log in so let's go over here and let's try to log in from here five six seven eight now let's see if we get the user again once we log in there it is so that's great we are getting the user we are getting like the firebase is working great and everything is cool so that's all in this video hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel as well and if you feel like this video is worth sharing please do share this with your network so that's all for this video till the next time goodbye